Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you guys? Pretty good. Yes. How are you? Hmm? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están todos? Good? Yes, good. Good, no. good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, just a second. No sé por qué mi cámara está toda banda. <laughs> okay, just a second. Here we go. I think that's better. Okay. Um... All right, guys, welcome to today's class. Um, okay, let's see if we can. All right, we're going to start with our class. Hello, Jose Alexander, how are you? I am fine, teacher. Good, good, I'm glad to hear that. And how is uh, Kelvin Ivan? I'm fine too. You're fine too? Oh, good, good, excellent. How was your day? How was your day today? Did you do anything interesting? Oh, no problem ahorita. Hmm? No puedo. No lo puedo. Sorry? How how was your day, Kevin, um, Kelvin? Did you do anything interesting today? No, nothing. What? Nothing interesting? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right, guys. Um, so we are going to begin. Uh, I'm going to show you my the PowerPoint. Sorry, the the screen. Please tell me if um, if you can see it. I can see. You can see it. You can no. see. It? No. no, 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 no. I didn't think you could. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we are. Um, okay. Are you there? Can you see it now? No. Yes. Yeah? No. Okay. Okay, yes, very I good. Can. Excellent. Okay, so we have here a conversation. And this conversation is about asking your classmates about their plants. So I want you to listen and repeat after me. What are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tonight? Repeat. What are you going to do tonight? What are, what are you going, going, to, do to, do going to do tonight? Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm going to go to a party. I'm going, I'm going to, to, to go to a party. party. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Who's going to be there? Who's going to, Who's be, going going to, to be, be there? there? Well, Lara and Rosa are going to come. Well, well Lara and Rosa, Rosa are, are going, going to come. Going to come. Mm -hmm. But Jeff isn't going to be there. But Jeff yes, is going to be not going to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at the time expressions that we use here. We have the time expression tonight. tonight. Repeat, tonight. 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 Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. 
Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow, Tomorrow night. Next week. Next, Next week. week. Next month. Next, Next month. month. Next summer. Next, next summer. Next summer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Do you understand this, these time expressions? Yes. Yeah? Do you have any questions about this time expressions? So basically you can say next anything. Like you can say like next week, next month next uh, year, next century, if you want it, okay? Okay, any questions about this? No? Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, so just a reminder just for reminder purposes, um, when we are asking a classmate about the um, activities, their plans for the future. Oops, sorry. Let's go back. When we're reminding, um, when we're asking about the, the future, we use, for example, are, is the, from the verb to be, okay? We always use are, okay? So what are you going to do? I'm going to go to a party. Who's going to be there? So the, the who's, the, 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 the from the verb to be. And Lara and Rosa are going to come, okay? But you have infant, so that's the negative form, okay? And then um, we have the subject, you. Here it's I. Here it's who. Here it's Lara and Rosa. And here it's Jeff. Okay. And then we have always go, we're going to say going to. Okay, going to, going to, going to, and going to. Okay, and after going to, we always use the verb in the infinitive form. Do, go, be, come, and be. Okay, so basically, um, we're always gonna use the same structure. The only difference is that when we ask a question, we're gonna start with a question, a WH question, like what, okay? Or it could be, for example, who's, that could be the WH question word, okay? So any questions about this? You have any questions about this? No. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, what I want you guys to do um, is now you're going to be uh, working with a partner. You're going to be asked, well, sorry, with a group. You're going to be asking your group what activity what are the plans that they have for the future? You can ask, for example, about the, the weekend, okay? So because today is Friday, and so tomorrow starts the weekend. So you can ask about the weekend. You can ask about next week. You can ask about, um, what else can you ask about? You can ask about um, the um about next uh, about next month okay because we're all we're at the end of the month right so you can ask about next month and so on okay 
Now, I want you to also make sure that you use these time expressions. You can ask, what are you, for example, what are you going to do tonight? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow night? What are you going to do next week? What are you going to do next month? What are you going to do next summer? Okay, so you can ask those questions. Do you have any questions about that? Okay, perfect. All right, so what we're going to do then is I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. But before anything, um, let me, I'm going to copy the conversation, but I don't know if you want me to do it with these colors or just the regular conversation. What do you prefer? Getting que se lo deje así? Así como está con todos los colores o en la forma original. With the color, please. With the color? Okay. All right. Please. Okay. No problem. I can do it with the color. Okay. Just a moment. I'm going to share it in the WhatsApp group. So then I'm going to share it in the WhatsApp group. Háganme un favor. Ah, no, ya la encontré. Y no la encontraba ahí. Ya la All right, so do you see? You see it? Yes? No? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to ask you to work with a partner, sorry, with, with many partners, and you're going to be discussing what plans your partners have. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to put you guys into breakup rooms. Um, but before anything, I just want to make sure that you guys are there. Erika Jamilet, are you there? Erika Jamilet, are you there? Erika Jamilet, no, okay. Uh, Adriana Marcela, are you there? Adriana Marcela? Yes. Are you there? Are you, are you able to participate? Yes. Perfect, okay, good. And, um, Okay, all right, perfect. So I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. Just give me a moment. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm um, giving you about seven minutes to talk about. Remember, you have to use the, fu the, the future be going to. That's the, the key, to use the future be going to. Okay, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Elaborar preguntas de cuáles son los planes. 
planes para la siguiente semana. Hello, I wanna share with you. La conversación no la tenés ahí a la vista. A la vista, no, pero ahorita lo voy a compartir. Ahí está la teacher que nos ayude. Que nos ponga la conversación. What are you guys? What, what's the problem? What's the problem, guys? What do you need? Uh, when, uh, yeah. Can you, can you see? Can you see the conversation? Yes. Yes, yes. I can see. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read letter A and C, letter B, Juan Carlos letter C, and Carlos Enrique letter D. Oh no, letter there's no letter D. It's another letter B. It's, I can no. I can a second B. Okay, okay. What are you going to do tonight? Uh, yes. I am going to go to a party. Oh, really? What going to do there to be there? Well, Lara and Rosa are going to come, but Jeff isn't going to be there. Good. Kevin, where are you? What are you going to tomorrow night? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to watch a TV show. Ahora le voy a hacer la pregunta a usted. What are you going to do to, to do tomorrow? I am going to work in the morning and next I am going to watch TV. Wow. Uh, what are you going to next week, uh, Ernest? Next week. Uh, uh, I'm going to to do uh, a a working on uh, a work. Siempre te toda la semana voy a trabajar. Me too. <laughs> sí. But remember, you have to answer in English, not in Spanish. Okay. okay. So don't say no, that's a matter we have never had. Say next week. Let's see. Next week. Next week. Mm -hmm. see. How do you say we are trabajar? How do you say that? We're going to work. I'm going to work. Next week I'm going to work. Okay. Okay. Continue. Continue. Uh, where are you going to? Next month, Kevin. Mm, I think I'm going to. I'm going to go to the sea. Okay. 
And what are you going tonight, Ernesto? Uh, I am going to uh, uh, La palabra descansar no, no, la, no me la puedo. ¿Cómo? Descansar no, no me la puedo, ¿cómo se dice? Mm. How do you say descansar oh, in English? Oh, sleep. Sí. Okay. I need you to practice English, Ernesto. How do you say descansar in English? Descansar, no. Hi. How do you say descansar in English? Pregunte, pregunte, pues. Ah, oh. sí, le estaba preguntando, pero se me ha olvidado eh, cómo sea la pregunta. No, 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 ah, yo le estoy diciendo, descansar. how do you say descansar in English? Yo quiero que usted pregunte ah. en inglés, no en español. Es que descansar la palabra no me la puede en no. inglés. Teacher. Ok, no. mire, Ernesto, Ernesto, necesito que usted practique preguntar algo en inglés, no en español, porque si usted sabe, mire, ¿cómo se dice descansar en español? No está practicando inglés. Entonces, mm. yo no que necesito oh. que usted pregunte en inglés. Entonces, oh, yo okay. le estoy diciendo, le estoy diciendo cómo preguntar. Y es. How do you say descansar in English? Yeah. Okay. Erika, how do you de, descansar say, in English? Say, how do you say? Uh, say, sí, decir. Yeah. Yeah. How do you say? How did you say? How did you say? Mm -hmm. Descansar in, in English? English? Very good. You say rest. Rest. What? Rest. Okay, rest. Okay. I am going to go a uh, uh, what? Rest. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm going to rest. Very good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, lo que yo quiero es que usted es siempre esté practicando el, el inglés. No se esté, no, no esté limitando usted a decir, a decir cosas en español. ¿Ok? Ok, good. Otra cosa, Ernesto. Necesito que me cambie el nombre, su nombre y la plataforma. Ayer lo cambié y supuestamente iba sí. a quedar... Tengo no. que cambiarlo desde el inicio. De nuevo. Tiene que cambiarlo ah, siempre. Va. Siempre que usted entre, tiene que asegurarse que su nombre esté completo. Va. Está bien. Ok. Ya lo voy a reír. Ok. Very good. But we're going to return to the main room. Ok. Okay. Why don't we pass? Um, all right. So do you have any questions about how to ask about plans for the future? Do you have any questions? Very interesting, teacher. Uh, the the answer. Uh, 
Las respuestas estuvieron bastante interesantes este, de, del grupo. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, I'm glad to know that. Very good, very good. Okay, can you give me some examples of what your classmates told you? And for example, uh, I'm going to I'm going to play play soccer tonight at six o'clock, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Um, okay, excellent. Any other answers? Any other answers? What are you going to do tonight? I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, when I wa we can say, or we can use the, the both way. For example, uh, the future or going to. Can you ask the question again, Kevin? I didn't understand very well. Because uh, the future, the will, or yeah. going to, because we are um, we are speaking in future. Uh, teacher, uh, I I believe in that is confused because uh, going to is a. a Exactly, we, we do the, 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 the but a uh, plant only change in in the in the moment uh, in the future, but going to is because I am do. Yeah. No, I will. Or my will. Uh, will is uh, probably. Uh, but going to is exactly I do. Uh, example, um, <laughs> I going to work tomorrow. Yeah, is exactly. I will, will work tomorrow. No, I will. Uh, yeah, I will. I will work tomorrow. Probably I going to work. Uh, uh, Go and no and doesn't go work. Uh, use when when I use will, but going to it is because I I work in in this time in in that that time. I I, I think so. Yes, kind of. Okay, so basically, the idea is this. When you are talking about your intentions or your plans for the future, we use be going to. Will we use for the future, but for other things, okay? So will is a little bit of a a more complex topic. But when you have the intention, okay, you have something in your mind, or you have the plans to do something, you, you're thinking, mm, I want to do this, then you're going to use be going to. Okay? That's the idea. You have the intentions, or the, like, so the idea or the feeling that you want to do something in the future. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Then, uh, teacher. Then, uh, when use when I use uh, going to is mm -hmm. is intention only mm -hmm. only that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, intention and plans for the future. Okay. Okay. Intention Intentions and plans. Or plan. Mm -hmm. uh, when I I cuando ya tengo eh, que lo voy a hacer como digo 
que, que sí lo voy a hacer porque lo hago. ¿Cómo, cómo se pronuncia o cómo se dice? ¿Qué sería eso? Ya, algo that's que an, lo voy a hacer. That's another structure, but don't worry about that right now. O sea, esa es otra ah, estructura. Okay. Entonces, y, y, y ahorita no. The structure is called the present continuous, right? But right now, I don't want you to worry about that. Okay, so that, okay. that's okay. leave it there. I, what's important is that you know how to use the future be going to. That's the most important thing. Okay? Okay, okay. All right, so okay. don't worry about everything else. That's not important. Yeah. It's not important. Yeah. Okay? All right. Any questions? Any other questions that you have? No. No other questions? Okay. All right, good, good, good. All right, so now we're going to be going on to another, another topic, which is parts of the body. Can you see my screen? Yes. Um, yeah? Yes, please. Okay, very good. So parts of the body. Okay, um, so uh, I want you to listen and repeat after me. Head. Oh. Head. 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 Mm -hmm. Eye. 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 Ear. 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 Nose. 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 Do not pronounce it no se. <laughs> okay, it's not no se. It's nose. 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 Good. Nose. Mouth. 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 No, 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 no. Mouth. No. Mouth. Yes. Very good. Mouth. 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 Chin. 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 Okay, so tooth is singular, teeth is plural. Next, wrist. 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 Arm. 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 Elbow. 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 Okay. So this is the elbow. So this is this part here is the elbow. Okay. Throat. 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 Neck. Throat. Neck. 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 Throat. Neck. 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 Over here we have thumb. 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 And hand. 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 Mm -hmm. um, fingers. 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 Leg. Like leg. 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 Knee. Knee. Leg. Knee, 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 Foot. 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 Feet. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay, very good. Excellent. So foot is singular, feet is plural. 
Okay. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? You have questions about the vocabulary? Something that is not clear? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. in, in the video, in the platform, mm -hmm. and uh, the pronunciation mm -hmm. for stomach is stomach. Is that correct. correct? Yes, that is correct. Yes. Very good observation. Um, hmm. Okay, so let me write here. Okay, so we say no. So stomach. This word here, actually, no, I don't know. We hold my way the way that book is the stomach beginning. Hey, qué pasa? No quiere irse. Let me write over here better. It's easier. Okay. 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 So stomach. Um, I know that it finishes in ch. Okay, I know that. And you're used to that the CH, you pronounce it CH. In English, sometimes you pronounce the CH CH, but sometimes you pronounce it K. Okay, K. For example, think about this word. How do you pronounce this word? Boy. Christmas. Yeah, Chris, Christmas. You don't pronounce it Christmas. It's Christmas. So uh, in English, sometimes you pronounce the speech as K. Another word is, for example, character. Character. What is, you know, character? What is character? What is character? Do you know character? I'm, not, I'm not sure, but I think it's protagonist or was uh, Kind of, yeah. Uh, it means personality, uh, right? Yes. Yeah. So character, you pronounce it k k character. So that k k k so this is stomach, not stomach, stomach. Okay, the same thing. Yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, do you have any other questions? CH uh, is difficult the pronunciation for the American uh, correct. ¿Verdad? Teacher, se dificulta bastante a ellos se pronunciar la CH. Aquí. Allá en Estados Unidos estaba viendo un video yo que ahí se les dificulta bastante pronunciarlo. Che, no. así como otro, el chavo, che, espíritu, lo dificulta. No. Bueno, yo estaba viendo un video que se decía. No, 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 no. Es just that some words we pronounce as ch, other words we pronounce as ch. For example, this one, chair. Chair. This is chair. Okay. Or show. Yeah. Uh, or for example, watch. Watch. So these words here, the ch, the ch is pronounced ch. But over here, the ch is pronounced k. So it's going to depend. Like this is k, like Christmas character. And this one is ch. Chair, watch, beach. 
page. So yeah, there are many words that sound like ch. It's just that it's some words are pronounced the h, like ch. Others are k. That's it. Just all. O sea, el, ustedes van a van a van a llegar a conocer eh, que van a llegar a observar que hay muchas palabras que tienen diferentes sonidos en inglés. O sea, no, yo no palabras, sino que letras. Hay letras que tienen diferentes sonidos en inglés dependiendo de la palabra. Lastimosamente, el inglés no es una, no, un, un idioma que se pueda, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Que se pueda decir, ah, eh, esta, esta, esta letra se pronuncia así. No, todo depende de en sí la palabra. ¿No? Ok. Any other questions that you have? Do you have any, any questions? No. No? No questions? Okay, perfect. Okay, so, um, so the vocabulary is clear. Any questions about the vocabulary? No. No? What is chin? Chin. What is chin? Barbilla. Barbilla. Mm -hmm. Barbilla. Yeah, Good. And what do you call this? How? Uh -huh. So this is chin. This is chin. What do you call this? How? Como J O W. Hmm? Sorry. Could you repeat? Can you repeat, please? Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. Te voy a ayudar ahí con la primera letra. Pero son tres, tres letras. Jaguar. Ah? Jaguar. Jaguar. Kind of, yeah, it's jaw. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, any other words that you don't understand? No? Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, all right, excellent, let's clear this. Okay. All right, so now that you understand, um, uh, you understand uh, the different parts of the body, you're gonna be asking your partner um, about the different parts of the body. So you're gonna be working with the partner And um, I want you to tell me if you can see this, uh, this conversation. Can you see this conversation? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. All right. So it says here, point to your neck. So your partner is going to go like this, right? Point to your neck. Point to your feet. Now. Mm -hmm. it seems going to be a little bit difficult, right? That's because, um, you know, you can't see your feet, but you're going to try to do it in front of the, com of the, the computer or the, the, the phone. And you're going to try to, you're going to tell your partner to point to different areas. For example, point to your eyes, point to your nose, point to your ears, et cetera, et cetera. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So all you're going to say, point, point to different areas. Okay. 
So I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Um, okay. uh, Jack and Vanessa, are you there? Jacqueline Vanessa, ¿se encuentra ahí? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. ¿Y Adriana Marcel también se encuentra ahí? Yes. Perfect, okay. All right, so I'm going to, um, but I'm going to put you into breakout rooms and you're going to, you can tell your partner, point to different areas in your body. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, here we go. Me pegamos a los bailes de pica. Pues sí, ahí va, si querés, ahí marcate ahí parte de la cara, ahí para aprendernos bueno, los, los nombres. Este. Ay, dijo que era aquí, ¿verdad? Ay. Ay. Y la ceja no dijo cómo llamaban. Es eyebrow. Eyebrow. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, y las pestañas creo que es eyelash. Eyelash. Ajá, ese sí. es hair. Mouth. 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 Eh, la cara de face, ¿va? Face, ajá. ¿Y las orejas? Ears. ¿Cómo? Ears. Ears. Ah. Ears. Los dedos. Fingers. Fingers. Eh, yo me quité la barba. ¿Y la barba cómo se dice? Eh, chin. Barba o barbilla. Barba o barbilla. Ah, si sí, pues no tengo, me quité la, la chin. No, 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 no. I'm asking. Do you want to know barba o barbilla? Es que es, entonces es diferente. Ajá. Vale, si yo digo esto, esto es la barba. O sea, la barba del pelo, pues. Es que barba That's es beard. Beard. No, beard. 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 Barbie. Y, y el, y... Barbie es chin. Chin, esa es la parte del cuerpo. Pero uh -huh. el, el beard es lo que me sale. Uh -huh. Los pelos, ¿verdad? Que es la barba. Correct, yes. Así ve, así ve. Yes. Así mira la hey, no me, hey, no, hey, no me, no me chiqué, hombre. Yo no tengo ahorita. Y, y, y el bigote. Mustache. Ah, uh, mustache. Mas, ma, 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 ma. Mustache. Mustache. Mm -hmm. Correct. Ah, ok. Este. Vi que decía tú, tú, tú. No. T o e es un pie. Foot es pie. F O O T. Foot. Tú. Foot. Tú. Así como solo cuando decimos foot, F U T, es como la pronunciación. Pero pie se escribe F O O T. F O T. Foot. Ajá, y si querés decir pies, es fit. F E E T. Fit. Uh -huh. Es pies, ¿verdad? Y, sí, y, igual y, con... ¿Y los dedos del pie? Es finger toes. toes. No, 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 just toes. Toes. Uh -huh. Toes. Finger Ajá, es lo de la que, mano. Y... Ajá, correcto. Ajá, es que yo eso estaba viendo que decía, que decía fingers, los dedos, ¿verdad? De la mano, pero abajo lo del pie vi que decía diferente, decía toes. A T O E S, ¿verdad? Toes, yes, toes. correct. Toes. Y, yes. y toes, solamente le agregamos la S para que diga dedos, dedos del pie, ¿verdad? Yeah, toe, toe is one, toes is plural. 
Y la y otra, hay que... otra también, la de tut. Tut y tit. Tut es diente y tit es dientes. Ah, sí, sí, eso sí, sí. Ajá, tit es, ajá, cabal. Sí, estaba interesante porque yo siempre veía las dos y, y, y no sabía igual en... Voy a ir a monitorear otros grupos. Mientras okay. tanto, ambos ustedes continúen. Y Tani, le mandé un mensaje sí, sí. privado okay. por chat. Ok, okay, okay. okay gracias. Okay. Bueno, bueno. Ok. Pues sí, este. Pues sí, bueno. No nos conoce. Un Ajá. Pero para pronunciar todas las partes del cuerpo no tenemos la. Pues ya lo que le decía yo, que no tenía la, la, la imagen, pero pues. Mm. No, 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 sé si no es suyo. Yo no, te, no tiene en los, en los manuales. Yo lo tengo, pero él dice que hasta hoy le enviaron el acceso a, a la. A la plataforma. A la plataforma. No sí. Mm, va, espera un momentito, voy a ver si puedo mandárselo. Creo, si no mal recuerdo. Que lo compartieron, ¿verdad? También quiero ver. Yo le, le comento que le digo yo a él que este, eh, hay que practicar en base a nuestro cuerpo, ¿verdad? para aprender una parte del cuerpo y estar más familiarizados en inglés. Correcto. Yo voy a decirle, this is my head. Very good. Um, but, ya mandé el manual otra vez ahí en el grupo. Bueno. Ok. Yo Roberto ya puede tener acceso. Ahorita lo veo, teacher. Mm -hmm. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Point your your leg. Thank you. Yo eso como que van Pero a saber. Van a, 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 ajá. A, a habría saber que entonces. ver. Sí, habría que esperar ah. a ver qué nos dicen porque. Sí. Uh... Teacher, uh, uh, the pronoun of is tone, tone, pulgar. What is the uh, pronoun? Sound. 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 Yeah. And you, you ask, how do you pronounce? Uh, and then you say you the word. Yeah. yeah, how oh. do you pronounce? Oh. Pronounce. Mm -hmm. Correct. How do you pronounce? Okay. Oh. okay. And how do you pronounce the muñeca? I'm not sure. Wrist? Or wrist? Wrist. 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 Yes, correct. Wrist. Oh. 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 La barbilla. Ah, sí. Okay. Yes.
Ok. Uh, creo que todavía estamos esperando que se nos conecte. Regreso. Ya está. Uh -huh. Creo que hoy sí regresamos la mayoría. Ok, very good. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary, about bodies? No? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Este, lo, lo de el, el dedito grueso, no mm -hmm. pronunciation. Eh? Yeah. The... Um, thumb. Thumb. So these are fingers, fingers, and this is a thumb. Now, the ones from the feet are toes, toes. Entonces, eh, oh. ya, yeah, no confundamos porque... Sé que en español, por ejemplo, decimos dedos de las manos, dedo de los pies. But in English, no, we don't say, we don't say dedo de las manos, dedo de los pies. You say fingers and toes. So diferente vocabulario. Fingers and toes. Okay. All right. Any questions? Do you have any questions? No. 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 Okay. All right. Perfect. So let's continue with the class. Can you see my? Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. So, so the conversation says, "I feel homesick." So listen and repeat. Hey, Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, I'm not so good. Oh, oh I'm, I'm not, not so good. good. Actually, actually. Why? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache. What? Well, I have a headache. headache. And a backache. And, and a backache. Maybe you have a flu. Maybe, Maybe you have the flu. You have a flu. No, I think I just feel. No, no I, I think, think I, I, just, think I just, feel. just feel. A little homesick for Japan. A little, a little homesick, homesick for Japan. For Japan. Japan. That's too bad. That's too bad. Too bad. But maybe I can help. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch. Let's have lunch. At the new Japanese restaurant. At the new uh, Japanese, Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. idea. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. I feel better already. already. Good. All right. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? You can write the, vo the vocabulary that you don't understand in the chat. Okay, so you can write it in the chat. Uh 
Okay. Hablarle a mi tía. Papá, mi tía Silvia me está marcando. Mi tía Silvia me está llamando. Llamarle Okay, second. Okay, so we have homesick. Sick, homesick, homesick. Please start. Homesick. We have the uh, right. Only those words that you don't know. So let's have no esas esas palabras. Okay. All right. So. Y la otra que dice head head h. Dolor de cabeza, ¿no? Yes. Right in the chat. Right Very. in. Ah, yes, 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 I saw it. Okay, yeah, okay. All right, so, yes, head means when your head hurts. Ay, ay. Okay, so that's a headache. Okay, when your head hurts. Okay. Backache is when your, when your back hurts you're like um that's like a backache a little means not a lot okay just a little so a little that's homesick homesick means when you are like melancholic you are nostalgic about your house about your original house so for example, if you go, if okay, so if you go to the United States or Canada or, um, for example, Guatemala, and you stay there and you leave El Salvador, you may be homesick. So you start to miss your home. You're nostalgic about your home. Does that make sense? Nostalgic uh, the, the country uh, on, the, on the, the city? Yeah, oh. it could be about the country or the city. The two, the two. Oh, yeah, it can be about both. Okay, okay, thanks. Okay. You're welcome. Anything else? Okay. All right. What about the pronunciation? Do you have questions about pronunciation? So write in the chat. You can write in the chat if you have questions about the pronunciation. Only? Only that word? So it's a palabra. Okay, all right, okay. Um, hmm. Only those words?
Okay. All right. So um this one is maybe. Maybe. Can you repeat that? Maybe. 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 Oh. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. The other one is but. But. Ah, ah, ah. But. 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 Mm -hmm. but. Yeah. But. Yeah. Anything else? How do you say murciélago? Oh, bat. 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 This is a <laughs> but. But. Uh, uh, uh. but. Yeah. And this, the other one is bat. Uh, bat. Bat. Mm -hmm. is bat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other questions? Okay. So the other one is this one. Okay. So this print this word is pronounced back ache. Back ache. So we, cake. yeah, exactly. So it's the same situation as that we, the the word of like um headache, right? So we so we pronounce it. This is this last part here is pronounced k, not ch. You don't back. pronounce ch. It's back, back. Okay, everybody, back. Can you repeat? Back. 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 Good. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. All right. Um. Okay. The other word is blue. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Blue. Okay. Any other questions that you have? Do you have any other questions? Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, copy this conversation, and you are going to practice it in pairs, okay? So I'm going to send it to you in the WhatsApp group. Sorry. Okay, just a second, guys. Okay. All right, guys, do you see the conversation? Is it is Monday? You see the yes. conversation? Okay, perfect. So I'm going to put you into breakout rooms and I need you guys to practice this conversation. Okay, so let me get us over that case tonight. Oscar Alexander. Oscar Alexander. Okay, perfecto. Okay, y Adriana Marcela. Yes. Okay, puede puede participar. Sí. 
Okay, perfect. Okay, so I'm opening the rooms right now. Okay. And you're just going to practice the conversation. One time you can be right, the other time you can be Kinochi. Okay, so let's open the rooms. Oscar no puede entrar. Fíjese que me desconectó y ahorita que se vuelve a conectar, no había nadie. Bueno, ahorita uh -huh. ya estoy viendo a Hamilton ahí, no sé. Mm, ok. Una ah. pregunta, escuchando. Ok, un momentito. Solo de un momentito. Ok. Uh, si ¿sí tiene alguna pregunta sí, de que en la primera y segunda clase se le escuchaba perfectamente uh -huh. ahora se le escucha como que estuviera hablando suavecito o en secreto no sé entonces yo le he subido bastante volumen a la pc pero ni aún así uh -huh. no me escucha ahí al fondo se le escucha uh -huh. okay. quizás el, el... porque uh -huh. ayer la primera y segunda clase, perfecto, súper bien. Y uh -huh. ahora ya se le escucha bien suavecito. Uh -huh. Ay, por más pues, que le he subido volumen a la PC, no. no se ok, puede bien. ser entonces la, la agrícola, ya voy a ver. Ok. Um, ok, ¿no puede meterse al grupo? Creería. Um, no. Okay. No, no, lo, voy, no, lo voy a asignar, no hay problema. Hamilton, está usted ahí. Hola, en unos 10 minutos llego a casa y me okay. conecto para poder, poder participar. Ok, no problem. Ok, here we go. Japanese restaurant. That's that's a great idea. That's Brian. I feel better already. Mm -hmm. uh, come, we change. Okay. Hi, Kenishi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and back, back, back H. I'm not sure they pronounce. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thank you, Brian. I feel better already. Okay. Back, back, age. Age. back age. Back age. New Japanese restaurant. Mm, that is, I guess, <laughs> Brian, I feel beating already. <laughs> Soy fatal. <laughs> no se me escuchó. Hoy, hoy sí te escuchó. Es que oigo cortado, pero... pero... No, te tengo bueno, mal pronunciado. Démosle vuelta. No, démosle vuelta. Oye, oye usted la de arriba. Sería ya uh, en Brian. Ok. Pero se me pasa que me quedé. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. We watch the matter. Well... I have a headache on back. Maybe you hide in the food? 
No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That is too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's high lunch and that's new happens restaurant. Mm, that's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Me gusta su pronunciamiento. No, sí, sí porque lo, en el que yo me estaba viendo, usted dice que no la señal era que yo no la pronunciaba bien. Siempre, siempre en, en, ah, en, en, la, la, en, la, en la de web, I have a headache. Siempre, siempre le cortaba la señal. <risa> Okay. Are we finished? Yeah. Any questions about the vocabulary, about the pronunciation? Uh, the pronunciation, the dialogue. Uh, dialogue. Our, uh -huh, dialogue. Uh, difficult. Uh, any, mm, anything. Anything. Mm -hmm. Anything. Yes. Uh, Anything. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other questions? No other questions? No. No. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Here, 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 at, here, at, and, and, and bank. Back at yeah, head ache, head, head ache, head ache. Yes, correct. Head ache, head ache. Head nosotros, ache. nosotros la leíamos, eh, tratábamos de pronunciar, pero sí en esas dos, creo que en la I sí. Por más que tratamos con el compañero Juan Carlos, ahí se nos dificultó mucho. It's okay. It's okay. That's what I'm here for. Okay, so repeat. Headache. Headache. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And the other one is backache. Backache. Back yeah. Backache. 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 Back back Egg. Mm -hmm. Back egg. Back egg. Back egg. Mm -hmm. Good. Any others? Okay. So I think um that's pretty much it. So we're going to continue. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see. Okay, so we're going to talk about here um, problems that we may have. So we use the word have plus the noun. Have plus the noun. And we use feel plus an adjective. Feel plus an adjective. So, for example, here we have, what's the matter or what's wrong? You say, I have, and then we have a headache. I have a headache. Okay, so there's the, the have plus a noun. Okay, or I have a backache. 
Okay, Habakkuk is the noun. Habakkuk. Or you can say, I have the flu. Have is the, the verb. And we have the flu. Any questions? Do you have any questions? No questions? What is the meaning of an awful and negative adjective? Mm, okay, we will, we will talk about that in a moment, but right now I just want to concentrate uh, no. on this. No, I don't have a question about this. No? Okay, so we have headache. Repeat, headache. 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 Okay. Back cake. 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 Good. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. The flu. Good. All right. Excellent. All right. Now we can also talk about how you feel. You say, how are you? So, first of all, what's the matter? How do you say that in Spanish? What's the matter? What's the matter? What does that mean? What's the matter? What's the problem? What's the matter? What is the problem? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's It's like saying a... Eh, it's like um, saying, ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué te pasa? Okay, oh, oh ¿qué pasa? Yeah, it's like, pero ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué te pasa? Es como, obviamente, okay, cuando alguien me pregunta, ¿qué te pasa? Sabemos de que es algo que está mal. Pero cuando dice, ¿qué te pasa? Es porque hay algo que está mal. No es que, ¿qué te pasa de, ah, está bien? Sino que, ¿qué te pasa de mal? Ya está bien. But wrong means yeah. equivocado. Yeah. I, I, el, dice, I have the flu. The flu, como a qué se está refiriendo, teacher. Ah, yes. okay. Very good question. So the flu is um, short for influenza. Yes. Okay. Okay, so, ah, inf so yeah, exactly. Okay. Influenza or in Spanish, common. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. En realidad, gripe y resfriado son dos cosas diferentes. Porque resfriado es mm, que, por ejemplo, um, eh, estaba, estaba helado o me mojé, eh, me quedé con ropa mojada y todo y me, me cayó mal. ¿Verdad? Y entonces, eso es un, un resfriado, ¿verdad? Me cayó mal, me siento así, como dicen, a disgusto. Um, eh, tal vez tengo un poco de um, sí, eh, temperatura, ah, pero es como me pasa. No es the flu o la influenza o la gripe es ya un problema viral. ¿Eh? A veces puede ser bacteriano, pero normalmente ya es, es viral. So ya es, un, por un, es algo más, más complicado. So you have to have medicine, right? You, you have to take medicine. Ok. Um, ok. All right. Any other questions? Teacher, mm -hmm. eh, en la cuestión de, pronunci de pronunciación, me... I have a H o como la pronunciación, la primera. Yeah, head ache. Head, head ache. 
Hey, ik. No, 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 no. Head, ik. Head, okay. Head, ik. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay. The other question is, how are you? Can you repeat? How are you? How are you? How are you? What does it mean? How are you? What does that mean? Como estas? Como estas? Mm -hmm. Good. How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? In Spanish, how do you feel? Como te sientes? Como te sientes? Mm -hmm. Good. And we can say, for this one, we're going to be using feel. The verb is going to be feel. Okay, I feel. I feel. And I then feel. we're going to be I using feel. an adjective. Okay, for example, I feel homesick. What is homesick? Melancólico, nostálgico. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, pero es, es uh, melancólico, nostálgico por la casa. Ok. No, no solamente por cualquier cosa, es por su casa, o sea, por Se el lugar. Extraña el lugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, and then we have, I feel better. I feel better. I feel better. Yeah, I feel better. Good. Then we said, I feel better. Right? In Spanish? Me siento bien. Me siento mejor. Or, I don't feel well. I don't I feel don't well. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Uh -huh. Very good. So do you see you can use have plus a noun or feel plus an adjective. Homesick, nostálgico, better, mejor, well, bien. So those are adjectives, okay? So negative adjectives, let's talk about adjectives. Negative adjectives, sick. Repeat, sick. 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 Mm -hmm. sick. Awful. 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 Terrible. 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 Miserable. 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 Do you have questions about this vocabulary? Awful. Awful. Awful means like horrible. Terrible. Okay. El cual. podemos apagar los micrófonos? Okay, solo abran los micrófonos ahorita si van a hacer alguna pregunta. Any other questions about this vocabulary? Okay, so awful is horrible. Horrible. Okay. Now, positive adjectives. Let's look at the positive ad adjectives. So we have um, fine. Repeat, fine. 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 Great. 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 Terrific. 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 
Fantastic. 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 Very good. Do not confuse terrific con ter eh, eh, ter terrible. No, no, no. The terrific means very good. Excellent. That's terrific. Okay. Any questions? You have any questions? Harmful, que significa? Sorry? Can you repeat? Harmful. Awful. Awful is terrible, horrible. Horrible. Yes, Danny. Eso, eso es lo que le iba a preguntar sobre esa. Eso que le preguntó, le iba a preguntar yo también. Ok, good. So, awful means horrible, horrible. You understand horrible? You understand horrible? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. The same. Okay. Okay, so now let's practice this con this vocabulary here. We have a backache. Repeat, a backache. A backache. A backache. Escuché dos personas, pero creo que hay más en la clase. A backache. A backache. An earache. An earache. An earache. An earache. A headache. A headache. A headache. A headache. A stomach ache. A stomach, a stomach ache. ache. A stomach ache. A stomach ache. A toothache. A toothache. A toothache. A cold. A cold. A cold. A cough. A cough. A cough. A fever. A fever. A fever. The flu. The flu. Sore eyes. A sore throat. A sore throat. Okay, good. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Uh, the meaning of sore in Spanish is ardor o irritación. Mm -hmm. Sore, it's like pain, pain, pain. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. okay, so, so a sore throat means una, uh, es dolor de garganta. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y para decir como que yo tengo alergia, como que me ha dado alergia a algo, ¿cómo podría? Allergy. Allergy. So, already, allergy. yeah. Uh, I'm ready to check. Allergies. That's the noun. Allergies. Or just allergy. Singular. Okay. Anything else? Nothing more? No? Okay. All right, guys. 
Uh, okay, so let's clear that. So I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. ¿Alguna pregunta hace el momento? ¿No quieren preguntar? Ahorita mismo pueden preguntar. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre sore and pain? Um, sore is an adjective. Okay, so I have a sore throat. It means my throat has a pain. So it's 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 one it's one of hit people. So a sore throat, and pain is a noun. Así que literalmente se lo traduce significa like a sore throat is una garganta adolorida. Literalmente traducido porque es un adjetivo. But a pain is a noun. Does that make sense? Feel a pain or I feel a sore. No, I feel a pain. Siento un dolor. I feel a pain. Okay. But my pain is a sore. Sí, pero es que es di son di tienen diferentes um, papeles, digamos. Uno, uno es un sustantivo y el otro es un adjetivo. Uh, el, es el... parecido a la parecido a la palabra eh, afraid en también a la fear. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. um, exactly. True truth. Something uh -huh. that is true, true is adjetivo. Algo que es uh -huh. cierto. Pero, los adjetivos y los nombres. Uh -huh. Truth is, is la verdad. So it's, The truth. Uh -huh. Algo que es cierto y algo que es verídico. So, son de cosas diferentes, pero, o sea, refiriéndose a lo mismo, pero eh, tiene diferente función, es la palabra. Okay. ¿Por qué no puedo alguien say, I feel a pain in my heart? Uh -huh. I feel a sore. Porque si es dolor mm -hmm. emocional. No, you don't say really a sore heart. You say, um, uh, if it's uh, if it's emotional, you say um, a heartache. Heartache. Mm -hmm. Heartache. Okay. A heartache. This is mm, it's it's a statement. It's como un corazón quebrantado. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? No. Teacher. Mm -hmm. I can use hurt, for example, I'm hurt in my leg. Or I'm hurt in my arm. Uh, for example. So, podría utilizar así. Tengo un dolor en mi pierna o en mi brazo. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, no, no. I have a pain. Pain in my leg. Yeah. Yeah. Hurt is a verb. Uh, maybe hurt. Example. So, hurt is a verb. Es otra función. Hurt. Hurt is to hurt hurt, doler. It's a verb. So, no podemos decir I, I have a hurt. No, porque a hurt would be a noun. Sería un sustantivo. But this is a verb to hurt. So, my, my heart hurts. My heart hurts. Me duele mi corazón. My heart hurts. I have a heart ache. Tengo un dolor. 
en el corazón. ¿Ok? ¿Does that make sense? So, so. Ok. Sí, es que tienen diferentes funciones. O sea, uno sí. es un adjetivo, otro es un sustantivo, otro es un verbo. ¿Ok? So, I'll, re uh, I'll write in the chat. A sore, sorry, can, sore is an adjective. It's an adjective. Okay. Um, a pain is a noun. Okay. And uh, to hurt. To hurt is a verb. Okay, so they have different functions. El adjetivo es el que califica el sustantivo. Un adjetivo es un nombre. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Es como una, una cualidad. Exactly. De... Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Correct. That is correct. Bien. Anything else? Sí, porque la función que tienen los tres viene a dolor siempre, pero no lo podemos ocupar en todas las oraciones igual. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Es como, o sea, ten, eh, me duele el corazón, me duele el corazón. Mm, no es lo mismo que tengo un corazón adolorido. Porque si ya quiero decir, me está doliendo el corazón, es hurting. Ya, ya puedo conjugar, pero con uh -huh. los demás no puedo conjugar. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. Eh, con nosotros, sí, normalmente. Yeah. Ok. Any other questions that you guys have? No? Okay. So right now what you're going to do is you're going to be practicing with a partner, um, a short conversation, or not a short conversation, but it's like you're going to be guessing what problem your classmate has, okay? So I'm gonna show you uh, the conversation. Can you see the conversation? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna have conversations similar to this, similar, not the same. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Do you What's have a wrong? headache? Do you, Do you have, have a headache? Headache. 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 Do you, Do you have, have a earache? Ear ear yes, that's right. Yes, that's yes, right. That's right. That's right. Okay, good. So you're going to guess what is the problem that your partner has. So you're going to choose. You're going to choose a problem and you're going to guess what the problem is. Okay. Do you understand? Me too. Yes. yes. Okay. So you have to guess what is the problem. Okay. Um, by, uh, so I'm just going to, I'm going to send you the, the vocabulary. Um, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, please tell me if you can see 
and the that I sent. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. So I want I'm going to ask you to work in um small groups. So you get us a little Oscar Alexander, estamos ahí. Oscar Alexander, ¿se encuentra ahí? ¿No se encuentra? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Puede participar o no? Sí, sí. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Eh, Daniel Elías. Yes, teacher. Okay. ¿Puede participar? Claro que sí. Ok, claro. ¿Y Adriana Marcelo? Yes, teacher. Ok, ¿puede participar? Yes. Ok, bueno. Eh, so, choose, choose one or, well, choose two. Choose two different uh, problems. And your partners are going to guess what is the problem that you have? Okay, so they're gonna say, do you have a headache? Um, do you have the flu? Do you feel, um, do you feel a, no, but maybe not do you feel, but do you have a stomach ache? Yes, yeah, sucesivamente, sucesivamente. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Aquí estamos. Les voy a compartir yo. Últimamente he estado compartiendo bastante. Vaya, dale, dale. Ya está ya me estoy desesperado del calor, viejo. Sí, hombre, yo creo que estaba, me había quitado la camisa, también y tengo, tengo el ventilador aquí a la par. Y con ser así me muero de calor. No, hombre, yo la camisa la tengo bañada en sudor, viejo. No, hombre, sí, está, está bien yuca el calor. ¿Ven ahí? Sí. Sí. ¿Ven bien? Sí se ve. ¿Se ve bien? ¿Se sí. leer? Ok, dice ahí que, que nosotros pongamos ahí algún dolor o algo que nosotros hemos sentido. Tal vez puede ser últimamente, ¿va? Y contestar. Por ejemplo, what, what did matter? Uh, <risa> ¿Qué dijo que era? Yo no sé cómo para lo mejor que era. ¿Qué te pasa? What do you have? Vaya, what do you have? Él dijo que era, ¿qué, qué pasa? ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué te pasa, eh? Uh -huh. eh y de ahí vas a poner, I have a, a head, head, head. Uh -huh. Y me trago, yo no sé cómo. Y yo lo de la tumba, ahí sabe. You're going to choose a problem. So you have to choose. Guys, guys, guys. Choose a problem. Guys. Hola, hola. Hola, ¿me escuchan? Sí, claro. Sí, sí, sí. So, choose a problem. And you're going to guess what your problem what your classmate's problem is. Guess, adivinen. Okay, guess what your part, your partner's problem is. Okay. Uh, I have a. Como decir que tengo un dolor en la rodilla. A knee ache. Sí, pero, pero solamente de los que están allí. ¿Ok? Porque ahorita ya todo el mundo sabe. 
porque me acaba de preguntar. Sí, ya no van a poder adivinar. <risa> ok. Okay, okay. Usar un nombre específico. En plural sería We does have a headache. Estamos hablando de que nosotros, ajá, todos, ajá, ajá. Ajá. todos en plural. Juan Carlos, do you, do you, do you have, no. Sería, how do you feel? Eh, usted me pregunta, how do you feel? Y yo le respondería con, con algún dolor que yo tenga, pienso yo. Ok, ok. Ajá. No, 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 van a, van a adivinar, van a adivinar. Juan Carlos, how do ah, you feel? ok. Erika, espéreme, este, la teacher quiere explicarnos. Ok. Teacher. So, you're going to be guessing, guessing, adivinar. You're going to ask, do you have a headache? Do you have an earache? Do you have a toothache? And you're going to say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Ok. So, you, you're going to guess. Va adivinar. Es como un pierce, es como un pierce. Ok. Como el primero que estamos, le preguntamos a Marvin: mm -hmm. ¿Do you have a headache? Exactly. Your answer I is... had a theory for her. It's a correct. For example, you ask me: ¿How do you. No. Huh? You, you ask me a question. Yes, yes. Te podría preguntar yo también así, do you have a back age? Así. ¿Sí? Ajá, por lo que dijo la uh, teacher, sí. A net, net, but, net but es, es de cuello, net o cuello. De cuello. Net, 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 sería, no, net, como neck it. Que, oh, ajá, por, porque backage sería espalda, naked, o oh, que el neck se le agregue el edge, sería el dolor ache. de cuello. No, ajá, ache. Ache, no, ache. Neck, 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 de con mano ah, ah. Ham. 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 sería Han how do you say Han 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 Okay. Uh, do you have a neck? For example, allergic, allergic for no, I have. no, I have a neck. <laughs> no, I have a neck. Cool. What's <laughs> way? And uh, how do you say allergy in los ojos? Allergies in the eight. No. All right. Eye allergies. Eye. I Allergies. Allergies. I allergies. 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 Mm -hmm. allergies. Okay. Allergies. Mm. Marvin, maybe mm. do you have a, maybe do you have a cough? No, I know. Good. Juan Carlos, do you have the flu? Hi right, guys, are you finished? Okay. 
Hello, José. Eh, yo ya hice una pregunta, pero creo que no entendimos mucho. Sorry. Por ejemplo, estaba preguntándole a José, what's wrong? Uh -huh. Do you have a headache? Uh -huh. Me tiene que responder, no, I don't. Okay. Do you have a headache? Y tal vez si tenía eso o alguna otra, o tenía que él suplementar o no, suplantar otra palabra. Correct. Yeah, no, that, that is correct. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Very, very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you finished? Yes. Okay. I'm going to return you to the main room right now because we uh, we are finished now with the class. Okay. So I'm going okay. to go. We're going to go to the main room. Okay. 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 I'm esperando que todos entren. Okay, class. Bueno, entonces solamente eh, me queda escribir algo. In the chat, I'm going to write something very important that I noticed. We are having problems with the word ache. So I'm going to write in the chat how we pronounce the word. Okay? So the sound. Okay? Do you see that? So it's not H. It's ache. Everybody repeat. Ik. 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 Okay, so be careful. We pronounce it ache. The same thing with stomach. Ick. Stomach. Okay. With stomach, we pronounce like this. Stomach. That's how we say it. Stomach. 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 <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nos habíamos enchivolado al principio, pero así está un poco más. No entendimos más, pues. Ok. Sí. Tal vez para la próxima clase, teacher, este, eh, con esas que se nos dificultan así como este, el día de ahora, sería bueno que nos, nos pusiera así, ¿verdad? Como para ayudarnos un poquito más en la promoción, porque sí. Creo que en todas las en toda la salas donde estuve, todas, eh, tuvimos el mismo problema. Okay, Pero okay. lo importante es que nos pusimos a, a trabajar la mente y ver cómo podíamos hacer eso. Fue lo importante. Sí, esto, y lo estuvo muy buena. buena. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces, okay, de aquí hasta la otra semana, ¿verdad? The next week. Sí. ¿Cuándo tenemos clase? ¿Alguien se acuerda? Jueves. Ah. Sería jueves. 
Déjenme confirmarles. Jueves. Sí, porque el miércoles es el último día de, de, de trabajo. Ah, Sería jueves. Jueves y viernes. Tuesday. Ya les confirmo. Pues sería el 27 que cae. A ver. Cae. Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. Next Thursday. Ok. Así que pongan ahí su, su alarma en su teléfono que el jueves. Thursday. We're going to be connected on Thursday. Ok. Ok. Aquí estamos okay. aprendiendo. Dos. Dos por uno estamos aprendiendo. <laughs> ok. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Take care and I'll see you next class, next week. Okay. Next week. See you next week. Thank you, teacher. Next week, teacher. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome.